mucin 1 kidney disease is caused by a mutation in the mucin 1 gene. It is a single insertion, usually of a cytosine, in the VNTR region of this gene. It causes a frame shift and an early stop codon before the transmembrane domain, which basically results in a toxic neoprotein. What we have found out is that the mutant, the frame shift Mach1 protein, is being trapped in the early secretory pathway in between the endoplasmic reticulum and the Golgi. The protein is being found inside vesicles, COP vesicles, together with the cargo receptor TMED9, and there it is being accumulated. The apparent protein accumulation of the mutant frame shift Mach1 causes stress to the cells. And this induction of um, ER stress and the unfolded protein response is eventually what lead to the death of these tubular epithelial cells. This is what eventually lead to the kidney failure in our Mach1 kidney disease patients. The purpose of our screen was to uh, identify a compound which would remove efficiently frame shift protein from patient cell but leave wild type protein intact and cell unharmed. And for this purpose, high content imaging is very appropriate. For our high content imaging assays, we use uh, patient derived kidney cell line. BRD 4780 was one of the few drugs which showed high specificity for removal of frame shift protein compared to wild type protein. So everybody was really excited. In order to test if our compound will work in the conditions which are more close to the patient system, we try to test it in different uh, additional systems. One of these systems was our uh, model mouse, which had a knock-in frame shift gene in their genomes. And this mouse developed pathology phenotype close to what patients are developing. Oral administration of this compound totally cleared the tissue section from frame shift protein. After we showed that the compound shows nice effect in the mouse, we decided that we have to try a human system. And for that purpose, we developed human kidney organoids from three Mach 1 kidney disease patients, and we treated these organoids with our compound. The results were amazing, so the frame shift protein was totally removed from uh, patients' organoids. BRD4780 physically binds the cargo receptor TMED9. By this binding, the mutant protein, frame shift Mach1, is being released from the vesicles and can be moved forward along the secretory pathway, eventually and ultimately getting into the lysosome where it is being degraded and removed from the cells. The mechanism by which a misfolded protein is being trapped together with the cargo receptor TMET9 is a novel mechanism of action for retention of misfolded proteins. We are now very interested to find out what other diseases share this same mechanism. We have basically discovered a lead compound that can target a cargo receptor and facilitate the trafficking of a mutant misfolded protein toward the lysosome. While this is exciting new biology, it also has exciting potential for new therapies for a whole host of toxic proteinopathies for patients all around the world.